And I'm here to do a review for you. And if you're wondering what I'm reviewing, I'm gonna let you know. It is the Wet n Wild Spoiled. That's what I'm reviewing. Yes, sir, Bob. Now, this is what's going on. I have seven of the polishes. I know that the line is greater than seven. Believe me, it is. They have so many great colors and such a variety of colors from fluorescence to darks to glitters to shimmers to to just everything you could possibly think of, except for like crackle, I don't think I saw that. But anywho, they have a great selection. Now, I'm just gonna go over real quick with the names with you to show you what I got. I only have seven of these, so let's try to make this fast. Here is Pirate's Booty, a gold color, beautiful, beautiful gold, really, really love it. This is Show Me The Money, love it. Beautiful, one of my favorite colors right here. Um, this is called, my Saturn broke down. Um, beautiful blue. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And of course, I got a lot of glitters because I'm a fan of glitters. And this is called Ants in My Pants. Beautiful red. Really vampy. Love it. It's even great for Halloween, Halloween with a little black under it. And then I got um, Used Protection, which is this really beautiful turquoise. Okay, now the other two colors that I got are not glittery, of course. These are, this one's called um, Club Rat, which is like a hot pink. Not too hot, not in the fluorescent side, because I really don't do fluorescence too much. But this is a really pretty spring color. Really, really pretty. Okay, and then I also got this one, and this is called um, our Mermaid Reel. And this is like a purple with a little bit of gold undertone to it. Okay, now, if you have not tried these polishes, these are really, really great. Now, I don't know if you have or haven't, like I said, but I don't know if you noticed. If you have, it's great. If you haven't, this is what you need to know. These um, nail polishes have an extremely wide brush on them. Wide. Now, I'm going to show you another polish and so you can see the normal... The just, well, not, I guess, normal, but the, the normal to come with most polishes. And this is just a Remo Clear that I got for, like, a dollar. And as you can see, the difference between the both of them. Now, let me put my hand behind them so you can see them better. Now, as you can see here, oops, here is the Wet n' Wild, and then here is the Remo. The difference in the polish brushes are totally different. One is way uh, fatter than the other. Now, um, the pros and cons. Uh, if you have small fingers, it kind of gives you a little bit of a mess, you, you know, um, you're, you're going to have a lot of mess like around your cuticles on the sides right here. Um, works really great on toes though, because if you got big toes like I do, I have, well, my boyfriend always tells me I got hands for toes. Yes, he does, because I have like long fingery toes. But, um, either which way, it's a really great polish. It does have great staying power. Um, I do recommend them. I think they have great uh, pigmentation when it comes down to uh, color. Um, I do have photos of them um, on my Facebook page, uh, my Facebook like page. So go to Fluffy7285 uh, on your search bar and like it, and you will, you know, go check out the photos. Um, I do have other stuff going on there, so you can also check that out too. Um, again, like I want to get back to the review. These are really great polishes. I do like them a lot. I like them so much that I just every time I go to CVS, I purchase them. I did get mine on a deal. I got them two for three dollars. Oh, excuse me. I got them for two for three dollars. Um, I do not know if they are carrying them anywhere because I have not seen them anywhere but at CVS. Um, and I don't know if they still have the deal going on. Um, I bought these a few weeks ago, um, way before St. Patrick's Day. So, um, again, you have to go and check them out. Um, I think, I, in general, they are priced at $1.99. Um, so, still, $2 for a polish is not that bad compared to some polishes that are out there. I mean, I paid $2.99 just for my Sally Hansen's Extremes. So a dollar ninety nine is not bad, and so you know it's up to you. Um, again, like I said, the polishes are great, and you should try them. And I recommend them to you all. All right? Okay. 
Ah, I am going a little slow today, YT. Okay, YT, peace out and much love from you. Go fluffy because obviously I have no business behind the camera today. Thank you, and you all have a great day. Bye. Mwah.